The threat of climate change no longer looms above us, as it's already here. Our world is changing faster than we can comprehend it, so this calls for immediate solutions. With sudden droughts and unexpected flooding raising concerns for farmers all over the world, there are some farmers who are tackling climate change head on. In this video, we'll be looking at some creative farming practices from Scotland, starting off with the vertical farms in Evesham, Scotland. This year, the Met Office Office reported record-breaking temperatures in all of the UK. For the first time in the UK, temperatures soared above 40 degrees. The Met Office even issued an amber extreme heat warning all over England, Wales, and southern England. With this heat wave, there were greater chances of sudden thunderstorms erupting in some parts of the UK. This served as a great challenge for farmers whose crops lay exposed out in the sun. While other farmers had a hit and miss experience, experience with their crops by the time of harvest, farmers at the Val Fresco Farms in Evesham had a much more beneficial harvest period. And why was that? What made Joe Pilade luckier than other salad-growing farmers? Well, he practices a thing called vertical farming, which is a rapidly advancing field. This involves keeping his crops indoors and growing them stacked on top of one another. Not only does this save space, but it also offers Mr. Pilade many other advantages. For one, he doesn't have to use a lot of pesticides, since his leafy greens are inside the greenhouse structure. Apart from that, he can easily control the factors inside the greenhouse, such as the temperature, the lighting, and other factors. With such unpredictable weather all year round, he was able to keep the conditions inside the greenhouse under his control. He also added recycled water to tackle the drought issue. With all of these solutions, he is now able to produce about 2 million heads of salad greens each year. Moving on with how Scotland is expanding this new technology. Joe Pilade's farm is just one of the examples of how Scotland is taking vertical farming to the next level. While he's able to control the conditions in which his leafy greens could grow, Scotland's forestry agency wants to scale up this technology. Yes, we're dealing with the big boys now. Forestry and Land Scotland wants to use vertical farming technology to produce tens of millions of more trees in the coming years. Scotland isn't the only country trying to reach this goal. Other countries are trying to combat climate change by running massive plantation drives. Ethiopia just set a world record by planting around 350 million trees in a single day. But what steps the Scottish government's plan apart is that it's using vertical farming technology to do the unthinkable. The Forestry Commission believes that it would be the first country in the world to be using hydroponics instead of tree stalks to grow its new trees. They plan to have a whole variety of trees. These include conifers, Sitka spruce, Douglas fir, and Scots pine. They also plan to add broadleaf trees like oak, birch, and alder. But the plan is just in its experimental stages. So far, they've designed a structure near Dundee and are still testing it for any faults and additions it might need. To an average Joe, it might look like a white cube with tubes coming out of it, nowhere near the vast and open fields that you are used to seeing in Scotland, but they're seen as the answer to the worsening climate change conditions. Following up with how these white cubes are going to produce forest covers, before we start imagining a future where forests are inside these brightly lit white cubes, let's first understand the science behind them. The skeleton of this white cube consists of steel ribs and and girders, which can be built easily and at a fast rate. Inside this cube, there are rows and rows of shelves, where different trees and plants are grown at each level. Robots are tasked with delivering seedlings and saplings to these shelves. Underneath the shelves, there are rows of LED lights that shine on alder, strawberries, chilies, and basil on the shelf below. Technicians use iPads to change the intensity of the lights, and the shelves are stacked close together. These are held in a group of automated towers that are about 9 meters tall. This particular facility covers 42 square meters and has 8 towers. Each tower contains about 52 trays of seedlings. This means that the state forestry can grow up to 3 million seedlings at a time. This vertical farm uses hydroponics as it tightly controls factors like temperature, humidity, the type of light, and nutrition. 
again. The water is carried through plastic drain pipes and also contains fertilizer. Its dosage is easily controlled. This water is recycled rainwater that runs in a closed loop system. You can tell that almost everything in this pod is automated. Humans only need to enter it for maintenance. All of this was achieved by the Edinburgh-based company called Intelligent Growth Solutions. They're naming these scalable systems called Growth Towers, which isn't as innovative as the technology they're using. Let's take a look at some estimates and what FLS hopes to achieve. The communication manager at Intelligent Growth Solutions calls these structures growing machines, which shows just how much potential they carry. Scientists at this company believe that these structures can help grow saplings six times faster than they would normally grow outdoors. Outdoors, it takes a tree about 18 months to grow up to 40 to 50 millimeters in height. But when placed inside these units, their growing time could be reduced to 90 days. With these promising rates, FLS hopes to get the Scottish government to buy one of these multi-million pods. So far, the FLS has run three batches of tree saplings, as they've changed several factors, like the light and nutrition, each time. Now it's on its sixth trial run, with thousands of its early batches of broadleaves, pines, and spruce already hardening off and taken to the plantation carpeting parts in highlands. In these units, there's also less room for error. In a traditional open-air growing field, seeds would be scattered across the nursery beds, but only about 50% of these would produce saplings. In these growing towers, though, the survival rate is about 95%, so the future is looking quite bright for the folks at IGS. Following up with why FLS wants the Scottish government to invest quickly, UK's central government has set a rather ambitious goal. They aim to plant 30,000 hectares of new forestry every year till 2023. This is part of their plan to meet their net zero ambition ambitions, but recent data shows that the UK is a bit off from meeting its target. The planting rates have gone down a lot in the last 20 years, and the UK hasn't even restocked the mature forests that have been felled. So Kenny Hay, the tree seed resource manager at FLS, wants the government to look at the potential these farms hold. He believes that he has no doubt they can make these trees work. Following up with other exciting things being grown at these vertical Vertical farms. A vertical farm in Iceland is taking things to the next level by growing blue-green algae inside it. This type of algae is normally seen in oceans and salt lakes. It grows in spirals that stick together, which makes them easier to harvest. This vertical farm is owned and run by Vaxa Technologies, which hopes to grow this type of algae for both human and fish consumption. For humans, this blue-green algae can be used to make supplements, food colorants, and substitutes for meat. For all those vegans out there, and for fish, well, it's used to supply fish food to hatcheries all year round. But what makes this vertical farm truly special is how it's completely carbon emission free and doesn't use a lot of electricity. Instead, it uses carbon emissions and warm water to form the power for its growing process. The facility is placed on a lava plateau and produces about 303 megawatts of electricity and 400 megawatts of thermal energy. Moving on to the potential of vertical farming in India. With its growing population, India has to scale up its food production, and vertical farming is seen to be the next big thing. Future Farms and Barton Breeze have already begun working on creating vertical farming opportunities and understanding its benefits. Their research proves that farmers in India can combat many factors. For one, they want wouldn't have to use a lot of pesticides. Most farmers in India don't have the protective gear that can prevent damage done by pesticides and are often unaware of using them safely. Pesticide consumption also leads to a lot of suicides among these farmers. So vertical farming is being seen as a wonderful way to combat these issues. Apart from that, farmers can sell fresh produce even in the off season as they get to control everything. So far, the only deterrent to making this a reality is the cost of building such farms. But the Indian government sees a lot of potential in its growth and is looking to make investments soon. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of the future that vertical
vertical farming holds? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.